Good morning, everybody. So today it is Wednesday. Oh, there's Pomeranians outside. Aww. So cute. Anyway, back to business. Uh, this morning I have been to the gym. Do you want a bagel? What bagel do you want? Got my bagel. Just got back, got ready, eaten a bagel. I'm just getting ready to do some work, do some editing, get the last video up, which was yesterday's vlog that I finished filming yesterday, but it will be going up today, and you won't see me again until today. The current vlogging situation does hurt my brain a bit. But yeah, that's what I've done so far today. Later on today, I think, I might be going pumpkin picking. Fingers crossed the weather holds up and is nice. Nala's here, chilling, just uh, messing up all my hard work. But like I said, I've been to the gym this morning and this is my week of getting back into like healthiness. So no more takeaways, no more ice cream, no more, what else do I binge on? Biscuits, no more s'mores biscuits. Um, up until like the Christmas period and then I feel like I'm gonna roll downhill again and that is okay. Are you gonna eat all my biscuits for me? You wanna say hey? Down. Down, good girl, good girl. Just imparting wisdom on the dogs. I'm so proud of myself. You've arrived! Oh boy. You excited? Oh boy. I'm so excited. I already feel very autumnal. <laughs> Do I want a small one? Hmm. I like him. So we've waited for the area to clear and uh, we've got free rain. What do you think, guys? I want a green pumpkin. Get a green pumpkin then. That one? I was taking photos of this one earlier. Yeah, it looks like a perfect pumpkin. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? Then drop the top one. Doing this after the gym is not so fun. Jay, I Jay. think that's enough. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday. Today I'm off to get my nails sorted. Finally! I'm having a bit of a very very minimal makeup day i have the tiniest bit of mascara on and then i've done my brows and that is pretty much it i think i've got a bit of lip gloss on from earlier as well <laughs> that is where we are leaving it today i'm just not feeling makeup today i'm feeling all the ear jewelry though apparently um but yeah i'm off to get my nails done i've just been sorting some really exciting stuff out this morning actually which i'll talk to you about a little bit later in this video but it's awesome. I think I've got a little bit of shopping to do in town because there's some bits I need to pick up, which is very exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my outfit before I leave. Um, I'm kind of actually running on time today, so I have time to do an outfit of the day. So this is what I'm wearing. I am wearing this Zara cardigan. I really, really like this cardigan. <laughs> so cute. Um, and then I've got my Zara scarf on. I've got a Topshop little grey crop top on. Um, because when I'm getting my nails done, I drink a lot of tea. And I get really warm, so I have to have like layers <laughs> that I can take off. And then I'm wearing my Topshop black Joni jeans. And then, oh, we haven't seen these in a while, have we? I don't know why my voice just went like that, but that's just how happy I am. I'm wearing my Chloe Susanna boots, and I haven't worn these. I didn't wear them all summer, actually. I normally wear them during the summer, but um, it was so warm this summer, I didn't need boots I wore sandals like the whole time reunited <laughs> so happy so yeah just got my hair in a ponytail and then I've got my Astrid and Mew cuffs on I've got like all the gold ones on today it looks pretty freaking cool I've got the little dangly star which is uh according to a lot of you very distracting and then I've got an Astrid and Mew pearl earring my eye plus eye um little horn earrings love those I've got a nose stud in today Woo. and that's pretty much it. And I have no idea what bag I'm taking this morning. I just haven't really planned that out. Hello. Yeah. All right. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm still here.
obviously. Just in the top shop changing room, I'm waiting for Carla, uh, my friend who works in here and she's gonna come chill with me in a minute. So I went for a little browse downstairs and I've picked out some of the black Sydney jeans. Some of you might remember I have the blue versions of these and they look amazing, like they are really flattering, really like stretchy but tight. I think they're one of the perfect styles on me. They're not too high-waisted, but they're like perfectly stretchy and so comfortable. Yeah, I feel like they are the perfect in-between of the Joni and Jamie jeans, so I really like these. I'm looking forward to trying these on. And then we have this coat, which I just wanted to try on because it's pink and looks like a fluffy dream. And uh, who knows whether this will look right, but I thought it was cute. That's what it looked like as a whole for anyone wondering. Okay, so we've had a rejig. I'm actually trying on way more things. This really cute jumper, which is like huge and knitted and it's got this like dark thread on it. A couple of pairs of jeans. So we've got a straight leg pair, um, which I think might be too long, which is a shame. Um, but I'm gonna try them anyway, because they're the straight leg ones and I wanted some black ones. So come in, I'm vlogging. Gonna say hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, I look at the right Yeah, <laughs> I think that was the most shy I've ever heard you. <laughs> <laughs> so these trousers are a little bit long and would definitely need some taking up and not wearing with these shoes like they don't go with the shoes I'm wearing so let's just ignore that but um yeah I really like this little outfit that the girls put together and um super cute I've already got a jacket a bit like this um at home so probably just wear that one um but yeah I really like the trousers what do we think? They're quite flattering as well for trousers. I never normally imagine trousers being flattering after like having to wear them to school for years. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've just tried these straight leg jeans on. I freaking love these. So this is what they look like, kind of full body. They come up super high-waisted. I haven't got these in petites. My petites ones obviously come up a little bit um, lower. They just hit my belly button, but these ones are higher, which I really like. There are 32 leg as well, which is the only pair they have left in store and they're so hard to get hold of. But Carla suggested rolling them at the bottom and having like a chunky um, kind of roll up. And I really like it. It will look really cool with um, like white trainers as well, but it looks kind of good with the boots too. Oh my God, so this is probably the first like checked blazer that I've tried on that I actually like. I've not been a fan of checked blazers so far. I might see what Carla thinks. I've asked Carla about the uh, check blazer. She loves it. And um, I'm about to show you what she looks like right now. She wants me to like reaffirm that this is a joke. <laughs> She's not wearing this to work today. Hi. <laughs> I think it looks cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, she likes the blazer. I'm definitely going to it's I quite like the double check, but I can't find it. It looks cute. Wow. Oh, you look wakey. Bit different, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 100%. I know. Oh my goodness. This is huge, but I kind of love it. Oh, so soft. What do we think? I'm not sure if I can pull off things that are this oversized. Okay, so finally we have the item that I came in here for. These are the um, Topshop Sydney jeans. I really like these. They are super, super skinny and they're not overly high-waisted. I just love them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be buying these. I'm gonna buy the straight leg jeans as well. I may get this. And then, I'm not sure about these. I wanna get your opinion on them, so let me know. I do, I love a trouser and I love like a printed trouser. So um, let me know what you think on those. I'm at the till now. This is Carla's actual outfit, just for <laughs> reference for anyone that was wondering about the uh, double checked, it's not actually happening. Your hair looks so good though. Can we just take Thank a moment you. for the hair? I love it. It makes me want long hair again. Thanks, it looks a bit darker yeah. on your camera, doesn't it? A little bit. It's a little bit yeah. Probably the lighting in here, but I look like a little mole in comparison so to you. You look so pretty. Oh, pretty. Actually, no, you're older than me, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm little, yeah. like in height. But I have got heels on today, heel boots. Yeah, that's true. Hi, Susie's fans. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got 
way too carried away in the Debenhams Beauty Hall. Oops. Well guys, look at this shiny car. Oh my god, it's so clean in here. This is ridiculous. So whilst I was shopping, I also had my car cleaned because uh, where we went pumpkin picking yesterday, we drove through mud. It was disgusting. We then got mud in the car because I stupidly didn't bring like um, enough baby wipes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this car was gross and I had the inside of it cleaned whilst I was shopping. Best decision ever. It even smells good. <laughs> Josh has made me a cup of tea, try not to spill it, and uh, I am making some dinner. We're having a very early dinner because I am starving, like I am grumpy, I'm so hungry. Also, I'd love your opinions, I'm not gonna carve this for another few days, so it'll probably still be like this by the time you watch this vlog on Sunday. <laughs> I really should actually do something with it by then. but um. Give me ideas for what I should do with my pumpkin. Like, what's your favourite thing that you've ever seen, like, carved? Or I was thinking about maybe spray, spray painting it, can't speak. Um, or maybe drilling some holes in it, or both. Um, but I'd love your opinions on what you think I should do, because this can't sit on my kitchen work surface forever. It's really getting in the way. But yeah, we are going to have some Mexican. I'm so looking forward to eating. Sizzling away, if you can hear it. Yeah, so once I've had some food, I will show you what I bought earlier, like the beauty stuff that I picked up. I feel like you've got a good idea of what I got from Topshop. I'll recap just in case. Um, I'll show you the beauty bits. I'm really excited to try out. There's a lip product I bought, and I am like, oh! Hopefully gonna have a nice chilled evening because tomorrow I am going to see Alex which will be really nice and then we're also I think we're going to see a scary film in the evening so I'm gonna have a nice chilled night tonight because I feel like tomorrow is gonna be like quite busy. I like my life to have balance so I'm gonna like be super super chilled tonight probably watch catch up on my American Horror Story. Oh my god I'm so excited. I love American Horror Story so much and um, if you are a fan of American Horror Story can you tell me what else you like to watch that is like similar because I'm at risk of having watched absolutely all of it once this season is like once I'm up to date with this I have no like kind of slightly creepy tv series to watch and it's like my life so <laughs> recommendations down below please. <laughs> later now I have eaten food so hopefully I am a little bit less grumpy and a little bit more coherent than I was earlier I could barely form sentences I have just been doing some really boring VAT stuff I've also just started editing some more vlog footage we are currently just on a never-ending cycle of video editing so yeah that is my evening tonight and before I crack on with that and before I show you the stuff that I picked up earlier I thought I'd talk to you about something quite cool that I have decided to do for this month it's something that I've been thinking about for a while um and I kind of just had a few phone calls this morning to finalize a few bits and to figure a couple of things out and I'm very happy to announce that this month um obviously it's vlogtober so there are lots of videos going up on this channel and uh, it's also breast cancer awareness month and to highlight that and raise awareness but also um to do something cool for this month I have decided to um donate all of my ad revenue money so all of the money that I make from ads at the start of this video the ads that you see playing at the beginning all of the money from my ad revenue on YouTube this month is going to be donated to breast cancer charities so I think there's about seven in total I want to say that are going to be donated to maybe eight um, I'm still finalizing I've got I think eight pencil that I want to split the revenue between um, and I've just been working that out this morning and stuff like that. So all of the money from my ad revenue this month is going to be donated to that. And I thought I'd tell you this now because I thought it would be great to get you guys involved. I was going to announce it at the end of the month, but I thought actually uh, this is the chance, we have a chance now to make this 
better. So this is your chance to get involved um, and you can literally get involved and it doesn't cost you anything. This is the thing that I love about this idea versus like doing a Depop sale where you have to spend money. Um, this is literally you donating uh, by doing something that you would be doing right now anyway. If you're watching this, you are already helping the cause. If you watched all of my other Vlogtober videos, you are helping the cause. So um, yeah, literally by watching me, you can be raising money for various different breast cancer charities. And that is so awesome. Like you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to spend any money. You don't have to go out and do anything. I'm very excited to do something and to use Vlogtober for something really, really good and really special to me. It's um, a topic that is very, very close to my heart uh, for so, so many different reasons. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to have you guys involved. And yeah, it literally, you get to donate by what by doing nothing, by literally sitting and mindlessly watching my videos. Click click play all uploads and just watch them. You can re-watch videos if you want and you are making money for charity and I think that is awesome. Play them on repeat, <laughs> do, what, do whatever you like, but just know that every time you watch an ad before a video, which I know they can be very tedious to watch, um, that every time you watch an ad before these videos you are donating money to charity and that is awesome apart from all of you that use ad block you're not helping so that is something that i am so so happy to be working on and i'm very grateful to have the opportunity to do this so um yeah hopefully you guys are kind of as over the moon about us doing this as i am um i think it's going to be great that is it for this very cool segment and now i'm going to show you uh the things that i picked up at the first thing i picked up is this this is the blue orchid facial oil which i spoke about the other day i have a sample at my bedside table and it's getting low like i think i'm already over halfway through it then i also picked up a couple of other bits which were things that i thought i had and i must have got rid of them in a clear out and I'm really enjoying using the small one. I have a mini one of this at the moment. It's really, really, really small. So um, I picked up the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade three. And then I also picked up shade two. It's very much of a matchness, I must admit, but I like different, I like each of them for different reasons. And this is shade two, so it's a much lighter color. I also picked up one of the in instant light natural lip balms i think they are instant light lip balm perfector and i got the shade 06 it's like a really nice brownie color and i used to live for these i loved them so much oh they smell amazing i don't think i've ever had this shade before so i'm excited to see what it looks like in daylight because uh this lighting at the moment is not not ideal those are the clarins bits i picked up then Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Um, at the Chanel counter in my Debenhams, they like spray your bag with perfume. But like, what fragrance do you want in your uh, bag? I was like, <laughs> wow. I just thought that was awesome. And I can't get my product out. There we go. You guys will know that I love the Rouge Allure Ink liquid lipsticky thing. And there is a new shade, a new new shade. Before there was just one in the range and my one wish was that they made more. And this one is the shade Lost, I think. Yeah, Lost. And um, before they just had Amaro, which is a very pinky nude. And this looks like more of a peachy nudie nude. I am so excited to try tomorrow. So on, I think it will be Monday's vlog. So tomorrow's vlog, you will see um, me wearing this. And then for Topshop, this is what I picked up. So I picked up the blazer, which you will have seen, and then the two pairs of jeans. Very restrained for me. Those are my purchases. Um, I'm going to crack on with some editing now, try and get it done quickly in like a reasonable time because it's already getting quite late. I think it's like nine o'clock. So I'm going to crack on with that and I will check in with you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 